We were prompted to start the program and apply for the Innovates grant because what we've been seeing as a trend in the arts and humanities among PhD students was this kind of falling off of job prospects and a need to think about how you reorient people's training so that the, when they leave with a PhD, they can actually demonstrate that they can do something with it. I've been working on a longitudinal study looking at the students coming out of every theater and performance studies PhD program in the United States from 2011 to the present. And what I'm finding is that about half or 55 percent of uh, graduates of programs are working inside of the academy. But what that means is that 45 percent of the graduates of these programs are working in fields outside of academia. There's a bit of a gulf in positioning. Uh, when you have or are on your way to having a PhD, uh, finding your way into non-academic fields takes getting over a hurdle of communication. We also need to have the vocabulary, have the, the um, um, confidence in order to go in and say to the outside world what PhDs can do and what theater and performance PhDs can do. Because like, it is hard to translate um, to someone who is in technology to say, you know what, you are already using what skills I've been trained for years. Well, when I came here, I assumed that the only thing that I would be qualified for was a P was academia. Um, so having the, so I think just having the programming in this department that has showed me that those skills can be used other places and they can be really valuable in other places. The structure of the program that we developed was designed to allow students to take those steps outside of the academy while still having one foot in the academy so that it could be part of their coursework, it could be something for which they got credit. This semester I launched a curriculum, pedagogy, and professional development pro seminar and uh, part of the work of that seminar involved uh, interviewing people who held gradu hold graduate degrees who are working in sectors outside of the academy. If I want someone to be able to say they can do something with their PhD beyond write articles and monographs, it has to be part of what they do in my classroom. So, for example, this semester in my class, we changed it to a public history project. People could design museum exhibits, they could write podcast series, they could write short educational plays, and they did all of those things. Students are taking the initiative of reaching out to organizations and institutions that they know, uh, pitching potential projects or potential opportunities that seem to be of interest to their own growth and development. I work at uh, Beam Interactive, which was an experience design company. This was a UX research or user research, which is um, an intersection of marketing and ethnography. I was selected to be one of the participants in the Labyrinth Summer Ensemble Intensive. I'll be doing a marketing research internship with uh, the South Shore School of Theatre. Quincy. It's the Queer Appalachia Project, which is based in West Virginia, uh, but does sort of work with uh, a lot of the surrounding states, and it uh, it publishes a zine called Electric Dirt. It's a theater company that's based in a farm, and they work with this model of living culture, which is a self-sustainable um, company that runs from the farm with the labor of the people. Step Up Chicago Playwrights. Uh, it's a nonprofit organization here in Chicago that is uh, focused on developing community engagement between playwrights and local communities within the city. As someone who knows theater and who, um, who cares about theater, I think I'm in a good place to talk to people about theater and what theater can bring to young kids. Taking Heather Nathan's um, uh, workshop where she worked with us on syllabus development also helped in that uh, part of her professional development workshop talked about um, essentially how to design not just rubrics, not just syllabi, but also to talk about uh, objectives and metrics and how you can uh, present these things in sort of an objective way that is measurable. Um, that becomes incredibly important when you are writing a grant that you are looking to have approved through Chicago Public Schools and through outside organizations that really want measurable outcomes. We are trained for aesthetics. We, uh, we seek, we evaluate the aesthetics. And that comes in hand 
um, when I do, for instance, user interface analysis. In the historiography class that I took last semester, a lot of what we talk about is, uh, is narratives and how narratives are constructed. Uh, and then we do a lot of assignments where we construct narratives in different ways, uh, using different sort of like academic methodology. Uh, and one of the missions of Queer Appalachia is to sort of retake a narrative of Appalachia and to uh, look at a sort of more uh, more grassroots grassroots approach to making narratives through things like their publication and their social media presence. I think, for example, of a colleague who became a deputy director of development at a, a major international dance company. And the fact that she knew how to research and write and speak persuasively was a huge advantage to her. They want me to start talking to them and their parents about why they sent their kids there and what do they think that worked pretty well for their children. Stuff like competitive or comparable analysis um, as well as some journey maps, it's the, um, the, 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 the things that I use in the user UX field mostly. And I also did a lot of heuristic analysis looking at you know, how this uh, interface is better than that one. We work on a show, so we work on the production side of a show for the next four weeks. Uh, and then we spend the last five weeks performing that show. Developing curriculum and working particularly on an Ingenuity grant uh, for a pilot program uh, to uh, sort of have our entry into CPS. I want to be able to use those skills to help uh, other artists develop their work. I know in our field it's always important to think about how theater works with community and social and civic engagement, stuff like that. But. Um, like, you can't just do that by sitting in a classroom or writing papers. The, the way that the internship has opened up the most possibilities for me is putting me in contact with a lot of people that are working in this particular field in Chicago. It's giving me real-world experience that's going on my CV. Learn how to move in the nonprofit universe and like exist you know within an ensemble a long-standing ensemble the nitty-gritty of putting a, a publication together especially a publication that is crowdfunded and a small production team will sort of allow me to like <laughs> just sort of uh, try my hand at a lot of different things <laughs>